was a card. Installing this body wave wig, and today's hair is by BLY Hair. I will attach the unboxing of this wig. Now, this was uh, well, this is a 22 inch body wave wig, but y'all know once y'all wash the body waves, the curls naturally go out. And I did let it air dry, so when it air dried, it looked it like this. And I went ahead and bleached the knots and plucked the wig. Look how I plucked it, y'all! So cute, cute. And I will go ahead and install it on myself. Now, a few things with this video. I'm not going to do a ball cap method. And I'm not going to um, use a cap. The reason why is because it was actually, re oh shit. It was actually requested um, from some subscribers. Like, you know, install a wig without doing a ball cap method. Or whatever like that so I'm going to go ahead and you know obey the request but um for my install today um I'm just gonna wear this temporarily so I'm not gonna do like so many layers of glue um yeah I'm just not into that mood for today but I went ahead and I cut the back of my lace wig and I didn't even try the wig on yet so let me just go ahead and try it out and I do got the clips in the inside so I'm gonna just use a little clip in the back to catch my little kitchen area so hold on let me try it on and I just slide the clip right underneath my wig All right, ooh, the plucking looks good. Yes, come through plucking. Look at that. Okay, and this wig, this wig is super, super, super soft. I'm really loving this. Oh my God, it's so soft. Yeah, it's so soft, and this is the body wave pattern, like I said, after letting it air dry. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and install this wig on myself. Now, I did go ahead and clean my hairline with my uh, Beautiful Hustler Lace Prep, and which is a 99% alcohol. Spray that thing, wipe it off, do you. And, of course, for the glue, I will be using, of course, my Beautiful Hustler Lace with adhesive. Like, what else would I use? And y'all know this adhesive is sweat resistant, waterproof, and all of that. If you did not see my little real ghetto video of me with my big corny lashes in the shower, make sure you check that video out. I will attach that. At the end of this video so you guys can see that this glue is waterproof because i actually went live on my instagram and did the whole waterproof thing i decided to go live so y'all can see the real deal no edit just live and upload so this is the real deal honey and it really had my wig secure and i should have recorded me removing my wig because my wig was still on tight as hell okay tight as hell after I did that whole waterproof video and it was about three days afterwards I still never tied my wig down I don't even take care of my hair y'all to be honest like when I install it that first night it's gonna be cute and after that it's whatever so my wig was still on really really tight like I really had to really use my uh, lace release remover and really get that wig off because it was still so tight after being in that water for a long time so you know it speaks for itself but nevertheless we're gonna go ahead and get into installing this wig now you can do this one or two ways and i think i'm gonna start by um i'm trying to see if i want to cut the extra lace off first or if i just wanna you know what i think i'm gonna just go ahead and uh, like apply the foundation and stuff first but i'm gonna go ahead and take my ruby kisses my ruby kisses foundation and i am using level 15 okay um and i do like to use that palette and i use the darker shade and i'm just going to apply that darker shade right on the inside of my lace and i'm just using my little makeup brush or whatever and i'm just going to apply that right on my lace and make sure you get the edge of the lace too like in front of the hairline because you never know if you're gonna have to use some of that, or if you, you know, you take this off if it's easier for you. But you wanna make sure that you get 
um, that foundation in front of that hairline as well because you never know like if you're gonna need that extra lace um depending on how the wig fit and everything like that because to be honest y'all every wig do not fit your hair perfectly some you really gotta like finesse okay and i don't finesse a lot of wigs in my lifetime so trust me i know okay okay so now that i have my foundation added all on my wig i'm just gonna go ahead and put my wig back onto my head And boom, it's all foundationed up. Okay, uh oh. Oh my god, y'all, this wig is super, super soft and natural looking. I don't even want to do too much. Like, I might just leave it just soft and natural. I might do a pushback or I might do a side part. I don't know. I might do a pushback, though. I haven't done like a pushback look in a while but it's just like so cute you know really really soft but all right let's go ahead and get into tacking this wig down so i'm going to use my spreader my lace made adhesive i already clean my hairline brush my edges back or whatever case is i feel like i need to rebrush my edges hold on because i feel like they're still flying so let me just push that back and I'm just going in with my Tresemme and my blow dryer on heat. So I went ahead and brushed it. Oh, my head itch. Yes, God. So I'm going to go ahead and um, begin to apply my layers. Now, like I mentioned, I will not be using a cap. So the goal is to pretty much get the glue in front of the hairline, like pretty much onto the skin, which it will still get a little bit on your hair, you know, once you spread it. But as long as you use the lace release remover and you can also use a lace prep, once you use that remover, all that glue will come out with no problem. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just up, put my glue in front of my hairline from ear to ear. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and take my spreader and just spread it out. And for today's install, I will probably just do three layers of glue. For the, my last install, I did five for the waterproof. So I'm gonna just do three for, you know, this install. So I'm just go ahead and spread that out and begin to apply my next layers. And as y'all can see, that glue turned clear quick as hell and it was already getting stick stuck to my edge brush and it's a brand new edge brush so it's clean and look how stuck and quick like it turned so i'm just gonna go ahead and add in the rest of the layers now that layer two is clear i'm going to go ahead and add layer number three and then begin to lay my wig right on down Okay, so now that that glue has dried clear, I'm going to go ahead and begin to pull that lace right on down. And then I'm going to blow dry on heat. And before I cut that extra lace as well, I am going to um, tie it down with my, oh my God, the Melvin. Look how I plucked this wig, honey. Y'all be sleeping on beautiful hustle around here, honey. 
do y'all oh my god that is so freaking cute so i'm just leaving this wig a nice little firm press like i mentioned i did use three layers versus my last install i used five but that wig is still stuck and now i'm just gonna go ahead and pull that other side right on down and just give that a nice firm press as well oh i love my wig feel tight i don't understand it's like one of the best feelings in the world i know your wig is secure baby oh i'm just giving myself a little quick little head massage Woo, that thing feels so good but now i'm gonna take my blow dryer and i'm just oh it's so tight i love it and blow dry my wig on here and then i will go ahead and cut off the extra lace from around the ears and then tie it down with that melt belt and now i'm just gonna comb that lace on back Oh, it's so pretty already. Look at that, y'all. Okay, look at that. Yes, baby. Get into that scalp. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut the extra lace around that ear really quickly before I use that melt belt and tie down the lace. And be sure to cut that lace from around the ear. That's the only way that wig is going to lay comfortable without irritating you, okay? So make sure you get that extra lace off. And on this side, it was more lace than it was on the other side. And sometimes that happens, but just, you know, get that extra lace off. Oh, my wig is so secure, y'all. Hold on, let me show the picture in a bit. Yes. Yes, baby. Oh, giving me life, life, life. Yes. Mm. It's so secure. What I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, so this wig is so soft, like... It's so soft. Like, I might just add a little wave to it. And just, like, it's so sleek. I might even do a ponytail look. Ain't no telling. But I'm going to go ahead now and take the melt belt. Okay. And who just want to? And I'm going to tie my lace down. And then, I'm gonna let that sit for five minutes and then I will come back on and cut off the extra lace. And I'm still trying to figure out what style I'm doing. So let me think about it. Let me think about it. But y'all will see, of course. So stay tuned. Yes, 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 yes. Y'all yes. see it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna take my scissors and slip this first of all let me get some of this extra lace from around my damn eyes so i can see put the pressure on my lashes all right so i want to cut some of the extra lace off already i'm gonna adjust the camera hold on okay all right okay so i went ahead and i cut some of that extra lace off ready so i can stop putting all this pressure on my damn eyes but now i'm gonna go in with my scissors and begin to cut off the extra lace. And I like to just slit it first. And then, and then go in with the eyebrow razor and just start to chop and chop and chop. So with some pieces that you could raise it off, with some pieces you might have to tack down. So you just pretty much, you see how like I got some cyber in there. So I could cut, ooh, that shit. Did y'all see how that just blended so good when I pushed it? Okay, stop. 
clean. Okay, so I'm getting really, really close to personal, as y'all can see. Some is really melted and some needs to be tacked down. And then there's some I could cut some more lace off of. So I'm just gonna get closer to those places where I can cut more lace like up in there. And then I would just go in and touch. Man, stop playing with me, okay? Y'all see that? Y'all see it? So I'ma just go in in those places. Hold on, let me slit this here. I'ma go in in some of those places and just really touch it with my, um, you know, with some more glue. So it can really, really be laid, you know, melted. Cause you wanna make sure like, you really do get every piece melted down. Like that is just gonna give you the bomb results. And I'm just gonna go on my scissors really quick and just get really up close and personal with some of these pieces. Like up in here, like, you know, get all up in there. Yeah, but I'm still gonna go in and touch up those places that I feel need to be touched or needs to be touched but for the most part y'all know it's it's scalp tees on this end y'all already know what time it is with my um my tool and I'm gonna slide the glue up underneath them places and using the teeth of my comb just push that <laughs> oh my god and it's like all of it's not even down and my wig is still secure but I'm gonna go in and touch up those places and then I'm gonna tie this down once again with that melt belt to get that real real ultimate like scalp Iana tea so stay tuned So now that I laid all of that lace down, I'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry it on heat to make sure everything is dry and melted before I attach the melt belt once again and spray the holding spray on my hairline. And with that holding spray, it really does get that shit like melted, melted, melted to the max. So um, I created that method so long ago and it's just like so lit. So let's do it. Before I apply the holding spray, um, this is another little method I started doing and I love the results of it. I like to take my wax stick and apply it on my hairline first and then do the holding spray because it just keeps my hairline like nice and super soft. So I'm just gonna take my glam wax stick and just apply that all over my hairline and then take my comb and just, you know, Hold my lace on back. And do the same thing all over. Okay. And then take the holding spray and spray it across my hairline and melt belt.
So I'm gonna let that sit for 15 minutes. You want that to completely dry. And what I'm probably gonna do is just take, I'm gonna take my Gem Wand Curler and just add some um, curls to my hair. Yeah, I still might do a pushback look or like a free, like a no part free look. Um, I think I wanna keep the natural hairline. I really don't want baby hairs today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and while I'm waiting for this thing to like, you know, be all dry, I'm just gonna start wand curling some pieces. So I'm just gonna allow this to get hot and just curl pieces as I let this thing dry. I went and I think I curled everything. I think I did. I just took like big sections and curled everything and I'm just gonna like brush it, you know, and see. You know, like I said, I didn't have a specific look. I'm just gonna go with the flow, like just pretty much play with it. So, um, now I'm gonna go ahead and remove that elastic band. I'm just gonna add some sheen, get rid of the, you know, the compression residue look. So yes, ooh, super melted. And I just have all these curls here and I don't know what to do. So I'm just gonna start by brushing it out. Cause I just want like a big, cute little loose look. I have nothing specifically in mind. Like I just wanted to play with it. Like I told you guys and just see you know what kind of look I can go for. I really do want to do like a no part. So let's see how we can get this thing to look like something. Okay. I see you curls. Curls for the girls. Okay, curls. I see you coming into formation here. And let's see if we can play with this a little bit. I like how this side over here is looking. So I'm gonna just take my wand curler and curl this side over here some. So let's see. Hold on, I need to curl this piece right here too. Hold on. Okay. Okay, curls. Curls for the grass. <laughs> Period, cool. So let's just get some, hold on, let me, we're gonna curl this section up here. And I'm doing all of this with this big wand curler, like just creating curls and just playing with the look, like I mentioned, until I get a desired look. No part. No baby hair, just curls. That's the goal. 
dulu kayak Yes, honey. Come to the face like this. Uh -huh. Don't play with me. Y'all see it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's how they go. Yes. So, I just created a look. And I didn't even have to try hard, like... This is so cute, it's natural. I didn't want no part. I just wanted some just nice little balm curls. I'm just gonna pull this down. I ain't even do no hot comb and none of that like I usually do. I just really wanted like a cute curl look. And you know, just wand curling everything back using my big wand curler and just, you know. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay, don't play with me. Freestyle looks. Just freestyling, playing with the curler, using this body weight to full advantage. So, let me know what you guys think about this look. Y'all see, I didn't even try hard to get this look. It just, you know, came. And it's a 22 inch wig from BLY Hair. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys for always staying tuned. We getting closer and closer to that 100K, y'all. Y'all see me, how you ready to get my thing going on. So, I love you all. Thank you guys for the constant support. I will drop some videos, some photos. So, see you next time. Stay tuned.